Life Audio. Hello. Welcome to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Kyle Norman. After a brief message from one of our sponsors, we will continue with today's verse. Audiences are raving. The carpenter is stunning. What caused the Abu Nazareth? My father sent me. He's a fighter. He's good too. An unconventional parable as action-packed as it is faith-promoting. Fighting can be lucrative here with the right connections and talent. And easy to lose your way. The Carpenter is Christian filmmaking at its finest. You can't help but cheer. You have many gifts, many talents. If you work each day to refine them, you will accomplish more with God's help than without it. And how does it feel working with Yeshua every day? He's a carpenter, son of a carpenter. You are aware of his miracles. I hear stories. No, look further. A touching account of how Jesus can change us into the best we can be. Not like anyone I've ever known, so why help me? I'm nobody. You're somebody to me. The Carpenter, now in theaters. See the full trailer at carpentermovie.com. Today's verse is found in Mark chapter 10, verses 50 and 51. Throwing his cloak aside, Bartimaeus jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. Have you ever been invited to dinner where somebody tells you, order whatever you'd like, it's on me? It's a fabulous experience, isn't it? But have you ever sat there worried that you would be judged by what you order. In that moment, you think, "Mm, they probably don't mean it. And so you decide to order nothing more than a side salad and a water. I've done that. Whether we doubt the invitation, or we doubt our worthiness to receive such a gift, or whether we are afraid that we will look like a burden, we end up missing out on what is offered to us. We can have that same attitude when it comes to prayer. There's a popular misconception that says it's selfish to pray for ourselves. And in every church that I've been in, I've met people who long to have a deeper experience of Jesus in their life, but feel unable to bring to him what is deeply on their hearts. Blind by Armanius shows us a different way. He is called forward to meet Jesus and he hears The most blessed of all invitations, what do you want me to do for you, Jesus asks. Now imagine if Bartimaeus said, oh, Jesus, it's it's selfish to ask for something for myself. Imagine what he would have missed out on. The fact is, when Jesus asks the question, he's inviting Bartimaeus to articulate the deepest need that he has. And that's the invitation that Jesus makes to us all. Blind Bartimaeus shows us how to ask for what we want and what we need. Now, Bartimaeus had heard about Jesus, and he didn't have all the answers. He didn't know exactly how this Messiah thing was to work. But somewhere in the depth of his soul, he knew that Jesus could help him, could bless him, could heal him. And so, in an act of reckless resolve, Bartimaeus hurls himself before Jesus. Hearing that Jesus is near, he begins to holler, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And even when he is rebuked by those around him, he won't be deterred. He cries out even louder than before, Jesus, have mercy. This is a lovely example of the boldness that we should have in prayer. Have you ever felt like you shouldn't bring your needs to God? Maybe somebody told you that or left you with that impression. Maybe you think that God has more important things to do than care about you. Jesus comes to us in the places of our deepest needs, and he joins us there. He doesn't shun our cries. He doesn't turn away from us. When people rebuked Bartimaeus, Jesus stops and he invites him near. He invites him to experience his closeness 
and he asked the fabulous question, what do you want me to do for you? And in asking that question, Jesus flings the doors of heaven's blessings wide open. There's no caveat. There's no restrictions. Bartimaeus is encouraged to disclose his deepest self. And he is ushered into the most profound interaction with Jesus that anybody can have. But now the ball is in Bartimaeus' hands. And he has a choice to make. He can either speak what's on his heart, or he can decide to say what he thinks Jesus wants to hear. He can either be open and honest, or he can put on a facade of spiritual put-togetherness. He can either say, I want to see, or he can say, I'm fine. Now, of course, Jesus knows what Bartimaeus needs. And so when Jesus asks the question, he's inviting Bartimaeus to open himself. In fact, Jesus asked this question many times. He asked the same question to James and John and to the man in the pool of Siloam. The fact is, there can't be a deep connection with Jesus if we withhold ourselves, if we think that there's some part of our need that won't be received. Bartimaeus knows that he stands before Jesus, the healer, and if anybody can heal his blindness, it's him. And so he says, my teacher, I want to see. And in that moment, he stands before Jesus completely exposed, no bravado, no facades, no pretense, Bartimaeus is nothing more than a blind beggar. It could be scary to open up to Jesus in such a real way. But that's the place of healing, and that's the place of faith. The story of blind Bartimaeus shows us that no matter who we are or what need we might have, we are encouraged to bring the fullness of our need to him. Of course, I can't promise that you will receive a yes to your prayers. In prayer, we might not get the answers that we look or hope for. That's part of the life of faith. But when we respond to Jesus' invitation, telling him what we want or what we need, we will always find a stronger connection with our Lord, and that connection will sustain us. So what do you want Jesus to do for you? The love of God is immeasurable. It's unchanging. It's indescribable. Because God loves you so much, you can sleep through the night in peace. With Abide Bible Sleep Meditation, you can fall asleep fast with relaxing sleep stories based on Scripture. To start listening now, go to lifeaudio.com or search your favorite podcast app for Abide Bible Sleep Meditation. You can also download the Abide app for more biblical meditations at abide.com.